I was just curious about something. In list and tuples, we saw how to store a sequence of values. But in many cases, I may want a sequence of related values. For example, a flight may have many types of crew. I want to store the crew name based on designation. How can I do that? We can use dic dictionaries for this. Dictionary is a sequence of key and value pairs. A dictionary is, can be used to store an unordered collection of key value pairs. The key should be unique and can be of any data type like list, dictionaries or mutable. How to create a dictionary? Crew details is the dictionary name. So within the curly brace, you will have key value pair. Pilot is the key. Kumar is the value. Copilot is the key. Rago is the value. Heads through a stress is the key. Malini is the value. Stewardess is the key. Mala is the value. First element in every pair is the key and the second element is the value. Accessing the value using key. Crew details of pilot. If you put it this way, crew details of pilot, this will return corresponding value for the specific key. We will use this in the upcoming exercise. Iterating through the dictionary. So basically a dictionary has key value pair. We use a far loop. We mention key comma value in crew details. Crew details is the dictionary name. Crew details dot items of. Then you will print. Maybe you print or do manipulation. You can do whole lot of stuff. Key colon value. Items function gives both key and value which can be used in the for loop. If you want to access only one, then crew details dot values of or crew details dot keys of. That's the way we will access if you are going to access any one of the item. If you like to access both, then we will use the function items. Let's try this example. Uh, crew details is a dictionary name which has uh, key, pilot, copilot, head stewards, stewards. Kumar, Rahu, Malini and Mala value, right? So now we are trying to print uh, crew details of pilot. So pilot means it's a key. So it will give us the value of the key, Kumar. So it has to give us Kumar. Then what is available? Then we are trying to iterate in the dictionary using items function. So key comma value in crew details dot items of key colon value. So pilot Kumar, copilot Raghav. So all this information will be retrieved. Iterating the dictionary using items function. So it shows um, stewardesses, head stewardesses, copilot and pilot. It gives us the complete. So it does not follow any uh, order, any sorted order. So it's unordered. Let's try to iterate the dictionary using the keyword in for key in crew details. So it will take if key equal to equal to pilot or key equal to equal to copilot, then we print the value crew details of key. So iterating the dictionary using keyword in. So key we have taken it, we check whether uh, it, has, it is equal to pilot or copilot. If any one of the condition is met, it uh, it gives us right so once when it when it iterates through all the keys of uh, the crew details uh, pilot comes once copilot comes once so of course we can add a key value should be unique so when copilot comes it gives the value kumar when copilot value comes it gives the value rago if you mention or if you mention key equal to equal to steward says then you should get one more additional value, mala. That's the way it works. Remember, dictionary being unordered, the order of the values being displayed may vary during each execution of the above for. As we said before, dictionaries are mutable. So crew pilot details detail pilot was previously pilot was Kumar. Now we're trying to overwrite with the James. So let's see what happens after the modification of the crew details. After modifying the value of pilot, it is James now. So I hope you understood. Now let's move on with the, another exercise. 
represent a small bilingual english swedish uh, swedish uh, glossary given below as a python dictionary merry got christmas jewel and och happy got new night year are and use it to translate your christmas wishes from english into swedish that is write a python function translate that accepts the bilingual dictionary and a list of english words your christmas wish and returns a list of equivalent swedish words look at the code uh, most of the work is already done so bilingual dictionary has the dictionary values uh, value key value pair the english words to which we need to translate to swedish uh, is uh, merry and christmas then we print the bilingual dictionary value then english words are we print english words then we translate this way we call this function translate we, we, we pass bilingual dictionary and english words as the parameter to the method to the function translate it comes here it receives here it is being processed it returns some value that value we are printing it here so this way we need to work on so swedish words list uh, they're returning it it is a list so first of all we need to create it so we create this empty list so that's the first and foremost step we need to do all we need is two lines of code for word and english word list he takes word by word so english word list basically has uh, two words merry and christmas so it takes first word right word will have merry uh, then we say we check we take a value right we check whether it is available in the bilingual dictionary if it is available we check the word equivalent word swedish word of uh, this merry right so temp that is being assigned to temp then we append the value which are value we retrieved for merry it is got then that is being appended to the swedish word list then we do this twice or multiple times as many words english word list has then we return the swedish word list if you execute this you will get the output merry christmas is, is the word english words equivalent swedish words are got jol let's visualize this to understand better right so uh, bilingual dictionary has these many words english word list this is a dictionary and this is a list it has only two words merry and christmas now we we we, we call out the method called uh, translate so translate uh, it has two parameters right now we create a swedish word list it is an empty list look at this now word word has merry the first word is being taken merry now uh, since the word is being taken a temporary uh, we also use another variable called temp so we access the equivalent value of merry word right from the dictionary so merry has good right now temp has good the next one now it is being added to the swedish word list then again the second time the word is christmas now temp uh, christmas the equivalent word of christmas we are trying to take bilingual dictionary of christmas so bilingual dictionary is a dictionary the equivalent word of it is a key the value for is jewel christmas for Ju christmas we take jewel right the temp will have now the temp will have jewel look at that the temp has jewel now we are adding it to the swedish word list now two, two 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 things are added so no more words there in the list so there are only two words we done with both the words right now it will be returning so no more the for loop it does not iterate any further because this english words list as only two words so we're done with the two words we have translated and stored it in a list now we are returning the list so this value is being returned god jol is written merry christmas is written as a card jol so now we print it here as the output you may skip uh, one more line uh, instead of this temp right you can directly Already, you may not need one more variable. That is also possible. 